Hey guys, I'm gonna do a quick little update on the SV. Uh, I know you haven't seen it in a while because I've been doing a lot of scooter things, but it's still here. Um, so what I've done since then, you haven't seen on video, but I uh, put the Woodcraft bars on. Um, let's see if you could see where the riding position is now. So if you can imagine before with these forks, I was riding with forks that were, er, sorry, bars that were right here. So that was all the way down there. So that gave me, even though they were a three inch rise, with the angle, it gave me probably almost five inches. Now, luckily, a lot of these uh, steel braided lines and throttle cables, they were all for the SV, so they were already a little longer, so it actually worked out. I didn't have to change any of the cables, and uh, the only thing I don't like, yeah, I need a, a new control here, you can see that's broken. Uh, I made this originally to fit the brake hose, um, so now that it's higher, it doesn't sit in there, so now I got this awful little thing. I'm thinking about getting a new windscreen. Uh, this thing's nice, but it doesn't really do anything, and maybe a bigger headlight. So I have new tires. They are Metzler Sport Interact M5s. Um, good reviews on them. They're not for racing, more for road. Um, and that's why I'm not really racing, so. Um, so I have the mirrors, that's another thing. So I used to have mirrors over here, some god-awful Amazon, mirrors over here, some god-awful Amazon mirror that was came blue. Uh, you literally couldn't see anything, so I, I didn't even use them. So now I got these Amazon mirrors, and they're great. Uh, I can see now I feel a little more comfortable because I have, you know, motion behind me as opposed to just wondering. Um, I haven't mounted the gauge yet because I'm trying to figure out how to do the speedo. And you can see that there. Um, but it'll sit probably about right there. Um, this gap, why I want another headlight is because you can see the glow in there. It's kind of distracting when you ride at night. Um, so that'll be something new in the future. Um, let me think here. So the other thing, I don't know if you guys have seen this Jixxer tail uh, with the light. So I did, it didn't have a license plate light. It didn't even have a rear light. This thing literally came with nothing. Um, so there's the LED light, and then I'll show you a turn signal in the back. It looks pretty cool, actually. So it's all integrated. Um, it's pretty bright, actually. I'm, I've been pretty happy with it. So something I need to do will be fork seals. It's a little more involved. Um, I'm still figuring out the shifting. Something's wrong with the shifting. Uh, I've had it the clutch set so many different ways that you know at this point I don't even know I don't even know what's what the deal is uh, so one thing I I know it's pretty dark but bear with me here this shift shaft here can be pulled you hear that so that that sound is the sound I get a lot when I'm missing my shifts um, I checked, it still has the snap ring, um, so I, I'm not totally sure. I'm going to probably wait until this winter and tear into it. I actually have, let's go over to my grab bag of parts. I have a new shift shaft that's, you know, it could be an issue because it could be bent. Um, this one is straight. Um, shout out to Mad 8V Cycles. He has all SV parts. Uh, I bought a couple things from him. Um, 
everything's in good condition and um, got a lot of stuff so check them out um, but yeah other than that uh, that Amazon exhaust is holding up pretty well and I'm actually gonna do a video on this um, in the next video you'll see the exhaust video um, and I'm probably gonna do an oil change and see what it we're probably at about five or six hundred miles with this oil the Rotella T6 maybe it needs changed uh, I'm not sure it was the first set of cycles with you know after been sitting for three years so I'm thinking everything is kind of worked out now and I'm gonna I'm gonna drain it and put fresh oil in there excuse me um, but other than that that's uh, that's my update and I got some dings got some dings and scratches all over I, like I said this thing was wrecked so it looks kind of bad There's some scratches all along here I don't think it's worth tearing all the frame down to paint but I may I don't know if I ever do find a tank the same color in good condition I may just buy it because the color scheme on this is you know my favorite but yeah I get oh, I guess one other thing is these rear passenger pegs it was important for me because the other exhaust that was on it was that whole shot exhaust and it wouldn't hold like there was nothing here and it kind of looked uh how do you, what do you want to say like just something was missing and there were these two holes and it just didn't look right so i ordered these i think they were 12 bucks from that mad 8 v cycles um got those here's the other one over here and it just kind of ties everything in the last thing for body work i think will be these plates right here i'm not sure how it's going to line up with this uh Jigsaw tail because it's a different shape, but I'm sure it will be close. I can do some modification on it. But other than that, uh, thanks for watching, and probably have another vlog soon before the season's over. I know I, I, I know everybody's probably been working a lot or working none. I've been working a lot, so I haven't had a lot of chance other than the commute, but. Uh, Anyways, appreciate you guys.